How's it going, you guys? I haven't seen you in a while. Walt Disney for the win. Uh, I missed you guys, and I have a special video today. Uh, like I told you guys before, you guys check my Facebook, my Twitter, or anything else like that. Um, I have reached 150,000 uh, channel views. That is a lot, a lot. Most people don't have that, or most people, they do have it, but they just throw up random videos. But my videos kind of follow through like a guideline, and um, they correspond uh, together. And I have wanted to get here for so long and now I'm actually here and this is something that I'm so proud of myself for and for everybody else my subscribers my viewers my friends my Facebook groups and stuff like that you know I really thank you guys because you guys have shown the support through the years and helped me be the individual who I am to present you these videos here on here on YouTube and I just thank you um, in case you guys have been wondering what I've been up to uh, here's what I've been up to that's right, guys. If you don't know what it, this is, it's Wolf's Rain. Now, this is an anime that I wanted to check out for a long time. Once again, this is something that I put up on my Facebook, my Twitter, and my uh, group. And, you know, I really want to check out this vid this uh, this uh, anime for a long time. Uh, now, I watched it, you know, I think back in the day, 2002. Uh, I didn't understand the concept. You know, I was kind of young-minded. You know, I like those fighting anime and stuff like that. Not saying that this doesn't have fighting in it. But, you know, I really wasn't into, like, a mature content and deeper subplot and meaning behind the anime. Um, and this anime just took me by surprise. Of course, Bones produced this, and they do wonderful animation, if you haven't heard of Bones. Uh, Devil May Cry is one of those animes that Bones have produced, and the animation is top-notch. Uh, so, where I bought Wolf's Rain was I went to AWA, and I copped it. Uh, I copped it. I bought it. And, uh, you know, I'm, I really love it so far. Uh, I'm on episode six right now, so... Um, I'm definitely excited about that. I'm going to keep watching it. I may do a review, may not. Not sure yet. More than likely, I'm probably going to do a review. Um, so, what to look for? Uh, a video is going to drop this week. A video is definitely going to drop this week. And look and be on the lookout for what it's about. Um, I could go on and tell you guys, and I probably am. Yeah, I'm going to go on and tell you guys. Uh, there's, you know, if anybody has been keeping in contact on what I've been doing, what I've been liking on YouTube, I recently liked this video of, of, uh, blacks dating white women and white women dating black women and, you know, the whole concept about that and how it's not, um, when you're black and you're looked at as dating a white woman, you're considered a sellout. And if you're a white woman looked at as dating a black guy, you know, you're abandoning your race. And, you know, I just want to talk about this. I want to get my two cents on this topic. So that video is going to be dropping this week. It's probably going to come maybe uh, Wednesday or Thursday. If I can't get it then, it'll be out on by the weekend. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, now, when I make this video, I want you guys to share it wherever you possibly can. Um, share it to Facebook. Share it to Twitter. Share it to um, LinkedIn. Share it to, you know, uh, wh wherever you guys want to send it to. If you guys want to send it to CNN, if you want to take it that far, go ahead and send it to CNN uh, by all means. Because I want to get this message out. And I want to give my thoughts, not only on my race, but as a whole of, of this whole idea of dating outside of your race is looking at is being looked at as an outcast in the black community and a white person dating a black person is looked at as abandoning your race in a sense so I'm gonna be talking about this I have to get my thoughts together on this topic so yeah it, you know I got a lot of new stuff coming here uh, guys I'm gonna be doing some editing to my videos of course uh, because you know I just don't like talking straight through sometimes I like editing, editing material but since I'm going to college and I don't have too much time to edit but I'm gonna start editing my videos the chapter reviews are still coming uh, so be on the lookout for that. So you know, it's just gonna be—it's gonna be really crazy. Definitely be on the lookout. When, I'm telling you, when I talk about this issue of, of 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 the whole dating outside of your race and stuff like that, it's gonna blow you guys' minds. You're like, "Whoa, man, that's crazy! That's crazy, man!" You know, I can't wait to see that. And when I when when I make the video, man. You guys are just going to go crazy. Um, another thing. I am getting a new phone. Right now, I have the Galaxy Note. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's Naruto right there. Galaxy Note. Naruto for the win. Win. Yeah, so um, I'm going to get a new phone. The phone I'm going to get is the iPhone 5, uh, of course. You know, I've had the Galaxy Note for around uh, 
It's almost been a year now, but the iPhone 5, you know, this is my, my bread and butter, you know, my bread and butter. You know, <laughs> you know, I had the iPhone for a while. Well, I had the Galaxy Note for a while, but I really want to go back to the iPhone. The iPhone looks pretty cool. It's like a cool device, uh, HD recording, front face, and camera. So you know, I could use that uh, when when recording videos. Uh, if I'm on the fly or have a break in class, I can just upload a video uh, to YouTube real quick and just update my subscribers. So that's it, guys. I, I'm not making this video any longer. Um, like the video, share it, um, comment the video, telling me your thoughts on what I talked about in this video. And Wolf Rain for the win. Kiba, you're the man. Peace, guys.